I'd like to report that my kids, both of them, have been conducting an experiment this spring to see how long a cold can possibly last within the human body. Results have been exhausting so far. Hi, I'm Sam Rollins, Chief of Communications for Santa Cruz City Schools with your weekly news. And this week it is test kits, new free vaccination clinics, teen jobs, summer school and elementary surveys. So let's not leave you in suspense. First and very quickly, the deadline for applying for Parks and Rec scholarships is next Tuesday, March 29th. Click link number three and apply for a scholarship to help pay for the wide variety of great activities available through Parks and Rec. We will be handing out test kits, free as always, to all families ahead of spring break. We strongly encourage students to take these before they come back from break to ensure that we're all coming back together safely. Look for instructions from your school sites on how to pick these up. There will be two tests in every box. We have another round of free vaccination clinics scheduled at our campuses. To ensure access to this protective measure taken by 4.5 billion people, with more than half of the human race now fully vaccinated, we are holding clinics open to all, student and public, in a series of Saturdays. They will be at Bayview Elementary on April 16th, Brant Forty Middle on April 30th, and De La Viega Elementary on May 14th. Tell your friends and help push things forward toward normalcy. You can register at link number one. We're happy to announce that our friends and partners at Parks and Rec and the Santa Cruz Teen Center are hoping, hosting a teen job fair after our spring break, where on Wednesday, April 20th, in the park behind Loudon Nelson Community Center, teens will be invited to apply for jobs and paid internships, join resume workshops, conduct mock interviews, and gain an understanding of the job market and hiring process. It will also be a place to learn more about the Teen Center's Summer Teen Internship Program, which places teens in paid internships at different city departments. Learn skills, gain job experience, and let's be honest, make money that your parents can't tell you what to do with. Informational flyers uh, for the job fair and summer internship programs are posted at, in English and Spanish at link number two. Now around here, we're starting to get excited looking forward to summer school. Most of our elementary spots this year will be invitational, but we do expect to have open enrollment for grades 7 to 12. Elementary will be at Galt School, and middle and high summer programs will both be at Harbor High. We don't have any applications open yet, but if you're interested, feel free to reach out. It's early, but early never lasts that long. Next week, we will be sending all elementary families a survey via email about the possibility of opening elementary campuses on weekends for community use. We'll want to hear your hopes, your worries, whether you'd use this space, whether you'd be concerned to open it up for public use, and whether you'd be willing to contribute to funding the endeavor. In this week, a quick celebration of Brant Forty Middle School, whose college week was a success, where staff opened up to students, sharing their experience with college and career. Because it turns out middle school is the perfect time to bring up the future, before it's bearing down on you, and to put the thought into the back of as many heads as possible. You can be anything. So, what sounds good? I definitely bumped my way through middle school, rarely looking up from my feet, it seems. And so for me, it's great to see teachers and staff making looking forward easy. And with that, I wanna thank everyone for your time. And now I've just realized that I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore last Friday, which I always try not to do. But either way, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and you will see me next Friday.